Hello everyone, uh, this is Penguin Develop 2 and welcome. Uh, today we're gonna show you guys how to invite your uh, friends or colleagues uh, in your Azure DevOps uh, organization and uh, how to uh, actually share your project to everyone else that you want in your team or in your organization. So here is the here is our uh, here is our repository that we want to gain uh, get access to our friends. So what we are gonna do? We are gonna invite some friends uh, uh, to our organization. Then we will give them the permission to access the repository and overview and broad boards. And we can also customize everything that we want to give uh, our friends. What kind of permission that we they will have? So let's get started. On the uh, pro, uh, organization, let's go to our organization settings and let's add some people. Let's invite some people. So uh, you can invite them using emails. Uh, they can. Uh, they have to. I think they have to be. So they have to make an Azure or Microsoft Microsoft Outlook account individually, or they can make make it with a gmail account just they need to be on the azure DevOps. that's it so here is the our organization's users settings and we're gonna add a user and i'm gonna add myself and we're gonna give uh, give them access to basic level let's add users and by users uh, i mean by their e email address Yes, I got that. So we're gonna add to my test project. We remember this: uh, we're we're first uh, inviting them in our organizations. Then we will invite them on our project. We can also give uh, invite them in our projects directly i will show you in a bit and also make sure if you are making a group just give them what kind of privileges they will have first uh, as we are making contributors for our project so i'm gonna select contributors you can also give them uh, project readers and administrator access level and remember always remember there are three basic access levels in azure devops basic stakeholder and visual studio subscriber so on the basic we will have access to almost everything um, on the stakeholder we will be limited to not uh, will be limited to many things like we would not be able to access the repository or many on the dashboard side of things and on the visual sub, uh, studio subscriber that's it so let's add ourselves and while well, when we add it it will show in, in here and i'm just gonna pop my gmail so that i can give you that uh, show you guys how the email works so here's my email and looks like i have an invite and we're gonna join now so most of you probably have got, um, most of you probably won't have this error but i have this error so i'll show you how to bypass it so to bypass this 401 error we will what we were gonna do we can go two ways one is to go incognito mode and try uh, log into our gmail account with that and we can also delete our browser history to access it so i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna log in and then uh, i'll show you guys how to how to get invited so just a moment your we are in now we are gonna uh, we're gonna just have to join in and we will be redirected to our sign-in page and I'm gonna again sign into our Azure account my Azure account so I just uh, logged into my Azure account and looks like I am also in this is penguin stream and this is my test project so this is how you easily uh, get access to our um, repository on the Azure DevOps page and we can also uh, clone our project using source tree I have already downloaded and installed source tree you can also 
download and install source tree from uh, the download link below on uh, on my description so let's get uh, started with uh, copying our repository in our local machine let's get started so this is our um, this is my uh, other account and this is my organization account I'll just gonna remove it this is my organization account and when whenever we get accessed let me reload and we can see that we have last when we last exited it will show you so you can easily track whoever was or able to join in or join not you know so let's get uh, let's get you guys up and running with source tree so I have downloaded source tree and you uh, you need to first log in so on our test uh, test project with our new account and we're gonna uh, actually clone it so to clone it we need to have the clone this is the HTTPS and SSH we're gonna use HTTPS and also remember to generate git credentials because it will we will need it in the meantime so we're gonna get give clone and select our destination where we want to save it so let's uh, let's save it on uh, checking our uh, source that it is it is valid or not then we can clone it easily and let's see so we need to sign in i think we you need uh, on the visual studio side you need to sign in with uh, the gmail here is the authentication we need login and we will be logged in this uh, so sorry about that so we are we have logged into our uh, account and we uh, when we clone it will start cloning the process so we'll uh, just let me remind you one thing that uh, we have used uh, the username penguin stream because uh, we are uh, this is my one pc and i have already um, gained access or uh, logged in using my uh, using my gmail account on source tree that's why i need to have my my penguin uh, penguin id's pat file or password so when you are uh, when you are on your pc and uh, that would be your username this would be your username on uh, and obviously log into your source tree file and then clone it generate grid credentials and copy username and password when uh, source tree wants it and after you give it uh, give the credentials you will be able to access our configuration file so that's it and after uh, after the clone git i uh, will finish off so this is updating as as we said and we have completed our clone repository and we can access it using our file status here and we can also we can also open with explorer from here and if we double click on it and build it it will start the project automatically so we have successfully opened our project and i guess we have some errors so a building build that a data error so this is uh, we can ignore this because so this is the project that we downloaded and it's working just like we have uploaded it so thanks for watching and I'll see you